Hello and welcome to Lone Star Conference Hoops Week 2023 in the online presentation for Basketball Media Days. On behalf of the Lone Star Conference, I am Madeline Mendoza, graduate assistant for Angelo State University. Thank you for joining us today. We're joined by Rams head coach Vinay Patel and senior guard Willie Guy. So first of all, coach, coming off of a 26-7 and record last season, an appearance in the South Central Regional Tournament, and picked second to finish in the Lone Star Conference preseason poll. What has the message been to this team in the off season and now as you're heading into practice good to continue the success from last year? Uh, our biggest message has just been get better every single day. Um, I think we had a tremendous year a year ago. Um, I'm not sure a lot of people thought we were going to have the season uh, that we did and I'm not sure we thought we were going to have that but uh, you know these guys did a tremendous job a year ago. Um, of buying in. Uh, we had a lot of new players, a lot of new faces, uh, new coaching staff. Uh, so there was a lot of new to what we were doing. And I think for us, uh, now that we're all on the same page and there's a little bit more consistency, uh, the message has just been let's get better every day now. You know, we know what our potential is, we know what we're capable of, uh, and now can we add to that? You know, and, and it's, it was a fun off season. It's been a fun preseason with these guys so far, the way they're challenging each other. Uh, I thought we did a great job in, uh, you know, really blending our new guys with our returners this year, just like we did a year ago. Um, you know, and it feels like things are going a little bit quicker now because we got some guys like uh, Willie Guy and Kevon Godwin that have, uh, they've seen the fire a little bit, you know, so they know what it takes to win in this league. Uh, they're experienced guards. Both were all conference performers a year ago. Uh, so I think just when they speak, it holds a little bit more weight amongst our team now because uh, they know the things these guys have been through. So I, I think the fact that we have, you know, our whole staff is back uh, as far as our coaching staff, and then we got eight players back uh, from a year ago, uh, it's really speeding up the process as we enter uh, this season. And, you know, Coach, you talked about new. This is a Rams roster that has several new additions to this team. So what are you expecting to see in the playing style of even your veteran uh, returners coming back in players like Willie and KK, especially when it comes to showing the new returner, the new additions, how it's done? Well, you know, we're still going to value toughness. That's not going to change. And uh, it's something that we've really emphasized uh, up to the point of when they arrived uh, on campus to where we're at right now is uh, we're still going to be a tough team. And that's going to be on both ends of the floor. Uh, you know, we don't just try to be tough defensively, but we try to be tough on offense as well. Uh, you know, and there's a lot that goes into that. So, you know, that's going to be the first thing that we're always going to talk about in our program is team toughness. Uh, but then we want to play fast. You know, I think we got a lot of offensive um, output on this team potentially uh, you know we'll see as the season progresses in that but right now we're really focused on playing a little bit more up tempo than we did a year ago uh, and then we want to keep the same defensive intensity that we that we had a year ago you know I thought uh, the thing we really hung our hat on a year ago was uh, how well we gelled together defensively I thought we were really connected as a team and we could trust one another defensively uh, we're still working on that right now as it goes but you know we're that's something that's probably throughout the year that's going to be a work in progress and I just see us getting better and better at that as we progress uh, but I do think you're going to see a different style of play as far as our tempo you know we are trying to move the ball up and down a little bit faster uh, we got a lot of guards that can handle the ball and I think this year uh, just with the the forwards that we've added uh, we have a little bit more punch inside uh, you know and we were missing that a year ago at times but I think this year, you know, we're going to be able to drop the ball inside and generate a little bit more offense. And I think it's going to free up our guards a little bit more as well because of that. Uh, there'll be more balance as far as scoring inside out. Uh, and it's something we're really excited about going into the year. And, you know, Coach, you talked about having eight returners back to this roster. Any newcomers you're expecting to make an impact on the floor this season? Uh, all of them. You know, we, we added them for a reason. You know, we're expecting something out of uh, every single guy that we added in this. Uh, you know, we went six transfers, one uh, freshman and, and every transfer we brought in uh, we're expecting to help us right away uh, and so far uh, just from what we've seen and the little that we've seen we're excited about all of our additions you know we think all seven are going to step on the floor for us this year we think all seven are going to contribute uh, you know we got two really good fives in uh, Trey Farr and DJ Basie that have come in uh, they complement each other really good uh, really well um, you know and they've been fun to coach up to this stage uh, you know we got uh, two fours that we added to the uh, fold and DJ Freeman and uh, Shamar Smith and Shamar joined us at Christmas last year uh, and those two guys are extremely talented uh, forward but 
I think our forward lineup is very deep. Uh, you know, we got six or seven guys in those spots that are competing for playing time right now. Uh, you know, and then we added some very experienced guards in uh, Keyshawn Embry Simpson, Carvel T. Set, um, and Kendrick De La Husse. You know, those experienced guards are going to add to what these two already have, have helped us with. You know, and then we brought a young freshman in Everson Armstrong, who I think is getting better day by day by day, and I think the best for him is yet to come. But we're really going to rely on these transfers that we brought in uh, to help these, these guys that are back uh, as we enter the season. And you know, Willie, Coach has already touched on some of the toughness and the style of play that you guys are looking to implement this season. But what have really been those expectations set for this team early on? Uh, a lot of the expectations early on is just, you know, uh, being a good teammate um, and not getting uh, upset with each other when, you know, when things go wrong. Uh, he just, you know, touched on the past few days about being patient with each other because um, some guys are experiencing new spots and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, being patient uh, with each other um, and just kind of being there for each other, to lift each other up when, you know, things go bad. And that's the uh, one of the biggest things in basketball that, um, you know, it takes time as the season goes on is you got to have a team, you know, come together, unite and uh, and be, be tough together. And obviously, Willie, we're about to get into non-conference action here in the next couple of weeks. So is there any non-conference game or tournament that you're looking forward to? Uh, we're looking forward to every, every single game on our schedule uh, this year because every single game is really important to us, um, just as much as the last uh, few games of the season are. Um, so, you know, once we get a chance to go out there and play against somebody else, you know, when it's the real thing, is, uh, is something very important to us. And following up with that, Coach, obviously you face a lot of good teams in your non-conference schedule. Um, how do you think this non-conference competition is going to help your team get ready for that LSC conference play? Uh, I think we got a tough non-conference schedule, um, and, and we did that uh, intentionally. You know, we're going out and we're playing some of the best in the country. Uh, that's part of our plan because, uh, you know, at some stage that's where we would like to be as a team. You know, and if we're going to be in the group, uh, where we're saying, hey, we're, we're trying to be that, then we need to go play that, you know. And, um, but we're not looking past our very first game. You know, for us, uh, we're playing Fort Lewis College to open up our season. Uh, and every time we hit the floor, we're going to say that next game is going to be the most important game for us. So right now, all eyes are on Fort Lewis to open up the season, and then we'll play New Mexico Highlands right after that. Uh, so those two right now for us are the most two important games of the year because they're the ones we open with. And, you know, as we get past those games, then – the games coming up after that will be just as important. You know, we're playing a very um, difficult road schedule. You know, we'll open up with those two. Uh, you know, we're going to play at Southern Arkansas, who was an NCAA tournament a year ago. Uh, we're going to go to Daytona Beach, play West Liberty, who played for the national championship a year ago, and play a really good Rollins team out of Florida. Uh, so we didn't do ourselves any favors uh, in the non-conference, but I think our guys are ready for a challenge like that. You know, we got experience back. We got guards. Uh, back that really understand uh, the level uh, and how good it is in our region. And so, you know, going up against somebody like Fort Lewis to open up the season, I think we understand how important that game is because uh, that's going to give us regional impl implications at the very end of the season as well. So, you know, every game matters, and I think Willie said it uh, the best. There's not one that we're focused on because we know how important each one is. And my last question, Willie, you were named to the LSC All-Tournament team last year. Um, so just what have been those areas of key focus for you as you continue in the offseason to work on that momentum pushing you forward? Uh, first thing is to definitely get back. You know, we kind of left with a, a bitter taste in our mouth. Um, you know, not winning the whole thing. We were, you know, just right there. Last few seconds, you know, didn't go our way. But uh, I think everything, the approach is kind of still the same. Um, everything that, you know, coaches – uh, implement us in our minds and stuff like that about you know what we need to do to get back there and to uh, to come out on top this time is is uh, of utmost importance. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.